Welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes and today we are going to be looking at the May 2016 paper, question 6. So, so the diagram below shows the graph of a straight line x plus y is equal to 3. Okay, so they have drawn a line for us and they said determine the equation of the line which is parallel to this to this line x plus y equal 3 but it passes through the origin so the origin is really the point 0 0 right so that is the coordinates of the origin now this is where students will get confused they will look at that line and be like oh boy what is the gradient of this line I don't know so what you need to do you need to remember that an equation the equation of a straight line we have to write it in the form y equal to m x plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept so in this case here we have x plus y is equal to 3 so I need to write it in the form y equal to mx plus c first so we're gonna put y is equal to I'm gonna take the x and put it on the right hand side this will become minus x plus 3 so this is the equation of the straight line so therefore the gradient of that line is equal to minus 1. Where did I get minus 1? Minus 1 is a coefficient of x. This is where students will make a big error here. right? Um, they will also get trouble when they try to make y the subject of the formula. They may end up with y equal 3 minus x and don't realize that the gradient is just a coefficient of x. So the gradient in this case is minus 1. And we know that the line passes through the origin. Right? So we know the general equation of a straight line is y equal to mx plus c. We know because it is parallel, right? Because the line they give us is parallel to this new line that they want us to find. The gradient of this line is also minus 1. Right? Because parallel lines have the same gradient. So this is what we know. We know that m for this new line is minus 1 and we also know that it passes through the point 0, 0. So therefore we're going to put 0, 0 into this equation. So we'll have 0 is equal to m which is minus 1 multiplied by 0 plus c. All right? so this will be 0 is equal to um, 0 plus c. So therefore c is equal to 0 so the equation of the line that they want us to find is y is equal to minus x okay because we just worked out c as being zero and we know the gradient is minus one so it's y is equal to minus x right so the line that they are talking about it passes through this point here the origin and oh, if i could do a quick sketch to show you what's happening here so this is the line that we are talking about here. All right? And the equation of this line is y is equal to minus x. Let's do the second part now. The part two come they ask um the one equation, sorry. You put perpendicular to the line x plus y equal three and passes through the midpoint. Okay, just check back something here. Okay, so the one down equation of our line that is perpendicular, so this is different now, perpendicular to this line, and it passes through the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint of AB lies somewhere here, right? Somewhere here, right? And that point, let's call it M, that's the first thing you need to do, you need to find what that point is. So midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, right? Now the coordinates of A is 0, 3, and the coordinates of B is 3, 0. We we'll always write the x value first. All right, so let's find the midpoint of AB. So it'll be 0 plus 3 over 2 and 3 
plus 0 over 2. Okay, so the midpoint will be 3 over 2, 3 over 2. All right, so this question will pose a challenge to some students. I can see that now. All right, so remember we just said that the gradient of this line was minus 1, right? It means that the gradient of the new line, so gradient, so the line we are talking about here is this line, right? Um, I'm just going to sketch it. It may not necessarily pass through these points that I'm talking about here. So this is the equation of, we're trying to find this equation here, right? And when we say two lines are perpendicular, we, we say that they meet at 90 degrees. So the gradient of this line here, small m, is minus 1. So the gradient, let's, sorry, let's call this m1. So the gradient of the perpendicular line, m, the gradient will be minus, minus 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So the gradient of perpendicular line is equal to minus, sorry, is equal to 1. Now, how did I get 1? When you have two perpendicular lines, when you multiply the gradient, so the rule really is m1 by m2 should be equal to minus 1 for perpendicular lines. So if we know the gradient of one of them is minus 1, it means that the other one must be 1. Right? So the gradient of the perpendicular line is 1, and it passes through this point here. So the general equation of a line is y equal to mx plus c. So 3 over 2 is equal to m, which is 1, multiplied by 3 over 2 plus c. But 3 over 2, 3 over 2 plus c. So therefore, c is equal to 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2. Therefore, c is equal to 0. So therefore, the equation of the line we are looking for is y is equal to x. So therefore, the equation of this line here is y is equal to x. Okay, let's move on. So we have a function here defined by y equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 for the domain minus 2 to 4. All right, so they give us a table and we are asked to complete the table. We want to find the missing values. We need to find what is the value when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 3. All right, so this is just straight substitution. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. So when x equal 1, so you say when x equal 1, y is equal to 1 squared minus 2 by 1 minus 3. This will be equal to 1 squared is 1 minus 2 minus 3. All right, let me double check this and make sure I'm not making an error. One squared is one, one minus two is minus one, minus one minus three is minus four. So this is minus four. And then we have to find when x is equal to three. So y is equal to three squared minus two by 3 minus 3, which is equal to 9, 3 is a 9, minus 6 minus 3. 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, right? Okay, so this first part was pretty straightforward. And then in part C now, right, so what are the numbers? Minus 1, 0. Right, now they said on the same axes, we have to draw this graph. So we have all the points that will make up this graph. So we're just gonna plot it now. So the first point is minus two, five. So we're gonna go minus two and go up to five. So this is the first point. Then minus one, zero. 
minus one zero is here, then zero minus three, so zero minus three is here. I'll just put in a dot for now, guys. One minus four, so one minus four is here. Then we have two minus three, two minus three. Then we have three zero, that's here. And then we have four five, four five. Right, so we know that we are supposed to get a quadratic expression. Um, now I'm sketching this here, so. Okay, now let's sketch this graph. Um, let's do a quick sketch here. You guys can draw it properly on graph paper. Right. Right, like I said, it's a sketch, so excuse the um, drawing. Right, so this is basically a graph you're gonna draw. Right, yours will be a smooth curve, right? All right, so this is our graph, right? Seems pretty straightforward. Now, for the last part, they said, use any information from your graph, complete each of the following statements. The minimum value of y is equal to x squared minus two x minus three occurs when x is equal to something. Now, we drew the quadratic, right? So this, this graph here, the red one, is what we drew as y equal x squared minus 2x minus 3. Right? This quadratic has a minimum point. It has a minimum point of minus 4. Right? You all can see this. Right? Right? So you have the quadratic. The minimum point is this point here. Right? And we know that minimum point is y equal minus 4. And it's going to occur at the axis of symmetry of this quadratic expression, which is x is equal to some number. We can get that number directly from, from the graph. So that number really is this, this line here, this dashed line that I am putting down here. Right? And that line we can see is x is equal to 1. So the answer for this part here is x is equal to 1. All right? Now the next part, the values of x for which the equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to minus x plus 3. Now, some students will get confused with this, right? We just plotted y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3, which is a quadratic expression. We also plotted x plus y is equal to 3. Right now, this can also be written as this here can be written as y is equal to minus x plus 3. So we plotted this and we plotted this. Right now, the points of intersection of these two graphs here is the same as saying that we are trying to solve an equation which is x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to minus x plus 3. Right? So we plotted this graph already and we plotted this graph already. So the solution is really, or the question is really asking where, does, where do these two graphs intersect? And that is here, this point here, and this point here. Right? And those coordinates are, so this point up here is minus 2, 5. So it's minus 2, 5. And this point down here is 3, 0, right? So these are the coordinates or the where the two graphs intersect. But the question is asking, what are the values of x which, this, which satisfies this equation? 
So all we need to do, we know that x is minus 2 and x is 3. So x is minus 2 and x is equal to 3. Okay, 